the entry of Mark Donald Mariga into Kibra politics caught many Kenyans by surprise. Because many Kenyans believed Kibra was Raila Amolo Odinga's stronghold. And with a handshake, Jubilee Party was not going to sponsor a candidate. And indeed, initially, Jubilee Party made that announcement. And for those who followed the Kenokoth memorial service, Jubilee leaders during that time pleaded with Jubilee Party not to fail a candidate. But William Samoy Ruto had a different idea. William Ruto wanted to use Kibra politics or Kibra by election to test his campaign machinery. And he was keen on sponsoring Mariga. And within no time, Mariga was unveiled as the Jubilee candidate. And he went to the ground. And within a short time, Mariga's campaign was gaining momentum because many people believed Mariga didn't have political experience and therefore was not, was not, didn't have political experience and therefore was not savvy politically speaking. And the fact that he, he doesn't have any known development track record, most people dismissed him, dismissed him. But within a short time, Mariga campaigns gained momentum. And his messaging started sinking to the people. But along the way, the campaign seems to have missed the original messaging. And I think this was caused by one man, William Samoy Ruto. There was a point William Samoy Ruto made a statement that he was going to teach Raila Amolo Odinga a political lesson in Kibera. And Raila Odinga responded that Kibera is his bedroom. Now that's where now the politics of Kibera started becoming messy for MacDonald Mariga. And I, I, during that time, I read a post by someone who is, a, who is from Kibera. I've known him as someone who comes from Kibera, but I've known him more as one of those influential Gormaya supporters from Kibera. He's called Holy Boni Bonfire. Now, this is what he wrote, which is really very interesting on first. He's saying, Ikifika ati sasa ni hivyo vile ruto, anasema itabidi sasa, hata kama ni lehama kibira ni rudi kupiga kura huko asubui na mapema hapo kibra primary karanjarod. Nikinyamaza msidani sina kura ya, and my vote will not be against Mariga but against his sponsor. Now, you see, that statement, it caught my attention that time. And that statement, it's very heavy. And that's the point the campaign for Mariga started missing. Because initially, even the first political rally, which McDonald Mariga had in um, DC ground, which, was, which I considered very successful, the messaging was very clear. That the contest in Kibra will not be between Rail Odinga versus William Samoy Ruto, but it will be purely between Mariga, Elido Wallo, and Imran Okoth, and any other candidates. But William Ruto made this statement after that rally somewhere in Western. And that's when they missed the, 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 the plot. And from that point, William Ruto also started hosting people in Karen. And the ODM supporters, especially those in Kibra, started monitoring him. And, and uh, was it on Friday or Thursday? Was it Wednesday and, and last week? I mean, the, this week, early this week, the ODM party, parliamentary group, through Junet Mohammed, issued a statement to IBC regarding IBC and their plot to rig that election. And the next day, they held a meeting with IBC. And I opined during that time that as most people were thinking that ODM party, as most people were thinking that ODM party was appearing weak and was showing signs of panic, I opined clearly for those who, who watched that video that ODM party was using that as a strategy to mobilize their support base. And I even went further and did a separate video of Babu Oweno. The role Babu Oweno is playing around Raila Odinga 
and his statement during that IEBC meeting. I did very comprehensive analysis of those audio meeting, the audio parliamentary group statement, and the meeting with the IBC. If you missed that, you can watch it. But from that point, it was now clear that McDonald Maria campaign was going to run into problems. And yesterday, his convoy was pelted with stones. I'm going to look at why that's going to be the trend moving forward. But before we do that, I want to play for you a clip here of Odium youths, I mean of youths, of Kibra youths. And in that clip, the first person who is going to speak is a person known to me personally. He's called Jonah. Jonah is the immediate former Odium youth chair for Nairobi. For those who remember during the NMN, NRM, he was playing Kirol around Vigona and mobilizing the youths. But for this campaign, Jonah is supporting Eli Dowalo. Is the guy is the guy leading early Owalo campaigns in Kibera, especially amongst the youth, the youth. But the moment William Ruto made this statement, I want you to listen to this speech by various youth leaders from Kibera, including those who are supporting Owalo and those supporting Imran. I want you to listen very cleanly to their speeches. Sisi atuta lalamika na atuta sema ya kwamba IBC wamekata kutoa register. Sisi kama vijana wa Kibra tunangoja tare saba. Wacha ni kuambie, dhubutu kuiba ukutane na sisi. Dhubutu kuleta ujanja ukutane na vijana wa Kibra. Sawa sawa? Na mi naambia vijana wenzetu. Ukiwa ODM, ukiwa ANC, ukiwa wapi, ukiwa wapi ya kuamba tare saba. Saizi wakati watu wanafanya do to do, wengine wanafanya campaign kijana usikubali kutumiwa kuuguza na wengine wana threaten wenzao usi threaten mwenzako kwa sababu no one any youth has no uh, 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 authority. Uh, authority or monopoly ya kuua mwenzake ama ku threaten mwenzake si ni kweli yeah. ufungue hiyo milango ya Karen hiyo nyumba ya serikali msaidie naye akiwa na kampeni yake akuje alishie watu wake hapa yeah. <laughs> eh wetangu lakiwa na watu wake alishie watu wapi kwa hiyo nyumba Iwe ni public duta ametumia leo na jubili ARC watumie kesho ODM watumie the next day Tuchague kiongozi ambaye atatetea maslahi ya vijana Kibira Kama mtu alikuwa mchezaji wa mpira alikuwa analipwa shilingi milioni nane kwa wiki moja Hakusaidia kijana hata mmoja hapa Kibira Je shilingi 1750 atasaidia mtu Nauliza swali milioni nane kwa wiki hakusaidia kijana hata mmoja shilingi 1750 atasaidia mtu kama hawezi saidia na saizi amebebwa kama mzigo kukuja hapa kibira now from the speeches by those youth leaders it's not clear that the odium supporters who had agreed to support Eli Dualo have now made Mariga their common enemy. So Mariga is going to be a common enemy in Kibra, not because of any other thing, but because of these factors which I'm going to tell you. The first factor is what I can call William Samuel Ruto factor. If William Ruto was strategic enough in Kibra, the thing he would have done, he would have let Mariga run his campaign the way he was doing. Because personally, I've studied the Odin party. It's normally very possible to defeat Odium Party in their strongholds. And I want to give you typical examples. Now, if you go to Kisumu West, John Olaga Lodge has managed to defeat Odium Party in that constituency twice on a Ford Kenya ticket. And if you follow his politics, John Olago campaign has always been about issues. You will never see Olago Lodge holding any single political rally in Kisumu, Kisumu West. The other person I know is uh, Shabir Shakil, the Kisumu East Member of Parliament. This guy won the ODM nominations, but his ticket was rigged out, was given to someone else. But this guy jumped into independent and he campaigned 
and during his campaign, just silently, underground, by the time Udim realized, the result had been announced. And the latest case is the case of of uh, David Ochieng of Ugenya. David Ochieng was a strong candidate. In the last election, in the, last, in, the, in the August election, the guy was defeated by the Udim candidate by around 200 votes. That was a very minimal margin, which means he had so much votes. So many people voted for him, despite the strong Udim with there. So why was that possible? David Ochieng was amongst the group of people who were identified by Udim as rebels during that time, the mall, the group of Ken Obura, the group of uh, Agostino Neto, the group of Jojo Ner, uh, and there were several others. Others made their way back, but that group. But David Ochieng was very strategic. He never confronted ODM and Raila. And in the last election, the by-election, David Ochieng never held any single political rally in Uganda. Because if you want ODM party to deal with you, then organize political rallies. I'm not going to talk of Embakasi, Embakasi South, because Embakasi South was a, 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 I mean, a wiper seat, and and look and um, campus at the majority there. So I don't, it's I, I don't want to assume it was also Odim Strongman. I'm talking of those from the Luo community. Now, from uh, from uh, what I've gathered, if you want to defeat Odium, then avoid. One thing, avoid political rallies. You can't defeat ODM party by competing with them in crowd. They'll miss you. And this is what is happening to Mariga. The moment Mariga organized that major rally, I think they were carried away. They didn't realize that majority of those people were actually mobilized from outside that constituency. And the moment they were carried away, they provoked the ODM supporters who are silent. And now they made the war now appear like now they are ready. And there's nothing which ODM supporters love like resistance. Resistance. If you want to know the true ODM supporters, go to Simba Arati constituency and Kibra. Those two. Because there you find the lawyers and you find the lawyers. Those two constituencies hardcore. ODM supporters, they love resistance. So they are now resisting McDonald Mariga there. So the Ruto factor has really messed up McDonald Mariga campaigns in Kibra. Number two is the lawyer factor. Lawyers in Nairobi have been known to vote with ODM party. I mean, vote for ODM party and vote for the Luos and the Kisses for a very long time. In fact, in constituencies where lawyers are um, either MCS or are MPs, the support is always 50-50 lawyers and lawyers. They, they, there's just normally an agreement. Like take for example where Aladwa is the MP. The, the previous MP was Akikuyu because Aladwa and uh, Ruben Dolo split the votes. This time round, Dolo never contested seriously on uh, as an, someone who is, was pro Rai Lodinga, and he lost to Aladwa. You go to Westlands, the same. You go to Simbarati's constituency, it's purely lawyers who are voting for him and the kisses. You get? So by, by, in, by trying to remove lawyers from voting for ODM in Kebra is something which is going to affect William Samairuto because he might succeed to get half of it, or let's say 60 of it, but as long as he want to get all of them, then he will not succeed. Because the lawyers are now viewing, okay, this is what this guy is trying to do. And even the lawyers in those constituencies are wondering, we've been campaigning together. But now, Mariga is being floated here as a lawyer candidate. Is that the right thing? So that's also going to affect him. Number three is what I call the IBC perce IEBC perception. The perception that IBC is working to ring in Mariga. That's something which is going to work against him because the ODM party will activate what they call voter protection unit. And that little voter protection unit of, unit of ODM is always very dangerous. Once it's unleashed, then problem will occur. That's why on yesterday, people who are 
trying to buy voters cards and IDs were arrested by these people and they are, actually they were detained by these people and police had to come in and number four is voter the, the same thing voter voter buying and bribery this will not work William Ruto will be viewed as another hilltop in fact if you listen to the, the clip I played they were referring to to, to Karen house as a, as a hotel where people are just eating and lastly is the bragging Mariga was doing his campaign so well but all of a sudden his supporters started bragging they started bragging oh that Baba's bedroom is under siege they are messing up these people allowed them to campaign pole pole in peace they wanted to to the, the they wanted November 7th to be the day people will decide the ballot but now this bragging by people who are actually most of them are not even from Kibra most of them are either in Kitale I mean in Eldoret Nandi Bomet and those other places anytime Mariga would go to to Kibra successful rallies they'll brag but now these guys are saying that bragging right we hold the key to it it might not work and i think the other thing which could affect mariga is this tag of an outsider mariga is viewed as someone who registered in Starehe, has never voted and beyond that these people also view him as someone whose campaign is being run from outside kibra by outsiders that's going to work against him so if in my view if mariga wants to re, to re, re, reinvent himself again he needs to go back to the drawing board and figure out where he really messed up a bit because if this trend will continue because politics is normally about perception the reason mariga was trying so hard to bring people to kibra was to create the perception the reason why lawyers were being said to be the majority was to create perception politics is normally about perception and if that perception will go then mariga will be exposed i don't know what you think and I remember, by the way, Onyango Tibing, the Tibing guy who composed a song, Mariga Podpek. The other day, I listened to him when he went live and he was claiming he just, Mariga, he just had that one, he was pressed, he needed money, and they agreed with Mariga, Mariga that he only attends that event. And that song of his is now banned in Kibera. The Mariga Podpek song is banned in Kibera. You see how this thing can sometimes get complicated and if you're bumping on this video for the first time what you do on this channel is that we analyze politics and the best thing you can do is to hit the subscribe button so that any time so that any time we produce a video you get notified and to the subscribers i want to continue thank you guys for your continued support and those who write me messages those who encourage me i want to continue thanking you guys for that support Thank you and please enjoy your day.